so my friend Bob's been talking to me uh, last the year here. Um, should we be really be using these lithium batteries, or should we go with the trusty lead acid? Uh, there's different forms of them now. The some better than others. Uh, so finally, uh, took a day and did a test. Actually, it took almost two days. Um, <clears throat> put some batteries in uh, in uh, the S12 and ran it until it died. Uh, one test is with the lead acid battery and one is then with an EarthX lithium battery. Uh, little was really known about how long or short the batteries would last. Uh, There's some knowledge of course about lead acid batteries. They gradually lose voltage and then eventually uh, down around 8 volts it's over. Um, but on the other side, uh, as far as the lithium battery, that is not as well known because when's he going to quit? It depends what threshold has been set in the battery by the manufacturer in order to save the cells in the battery. So we ran that too, and uh, these are the results. Okay, so the first uh, thing we're going to do is we're going to crank the engine using the EarthX battery uh, just for a few seconds just to listen and see what kind of a feel it gives us as far as cranking speed. The uh, engine is, uh, computer is now off, so the engine won't start. All right, so we're just gonna crank it and see how the EarthX does. Listen up. That was the sound of the engine cranking with the EarthX battery and the fuel pumps running. Okay, so I just moved the ground cable over. So now we're using <clears throat> only the seven amp hour motorcycle battery of uh, fairly modern technology. We'll listen to the cranking on that one. Here it goes. Okay, sounded just a little bit slower than the cranking amp from the EarthX, but not at all bad. All right, so this is where we start the test. Um, we're basically going to do the uh, lead acid first. We're gonna, they're both fully charged now, so we're gonna run it. Uh, every five minutes, we're gonna do a short recording to see what the voltage is, and then we're gonna take uh, the number of uh, video clips five minutes each add them all together and see how long it takes before the battery or the engine will die from lack of electricity with the uh, <clears throat> lead acid we expect the voltage to drop to around eight volts or so uh, and at that point the uh, uh, ecu and fuel pumps of the engine uh, one of those will will give out and the engine will likely quit with the uh, lithium battery, it's going to be different. The lithium will shut down um, by itself way before the voltage drops down to the level that the engine will not run. So we see which one runs longer.
All right, that was the completion of the lead acid uh, part of the test. Uh, we were able to get uh, 55 minutes and the engine um, stopped running at 8 volts. So that was a good test. Good morning, we're at it again. This Today we're going to do the lithium battery. So right now I got the airplane running out there with the lithium battery. Uh, with the alternator on, we'll give it a good 10 minute charge. I uh, actually started the airplane on the other battery just not to just to be sure the lithium is 100% full. So we're going to get a, a tally on uh, how long it'll run on the uh, EarthX uh, battery. Same as we did yesterday with the lead acid battery. Let's take a look what the uh, voltage is right now. Okay, we got it running out there. So, uh, 10.45 local time is when we started to turn the alternator off of the EarthX battery. Every five minutes, we'll do a little video or a screenshot or something, and we'll keep recording it. It was at 13.2 uh, volts after we shut the alternator on, off.
Okay, so the lithium battery died at uh, 10.9 volts, uh, which probably means that the threshold is set around 11 volts, uh, less than 11, and it'll shut itself down. Counting all the five minute increments and just timing the whole test of each battery, we found the lead acid to run for 55 minutes and the um, lithium battery to run for two hours and 45 minutes, uh, which means that the lithium battery ran three times as long um, as the lead acid battery. Now, le the lithiums have not been 100% trouble free, which is extremely important in an airplane, but they are getting better. And I think from the experience we've seen so far, to draw any kind of conclusion is uh, that is that they should not be mounted in an engine compartment. We've seen some uh, batteries that um, deteriorate quickly in the engine compartment and that they last, seem to last better if they're mounted inside the airplane. We didn't touch a thing and uh, two minutes later here, or one minute later, the battery reset itself. And we're back to 11.8 volts now when the, there's no load and the engine is not running. So first it died at 10.9 uh, with the engine running. It was powering everything, no alternator. And then uh, now it's back to 11.7 and it's running basically my instrument panel. Everything else is off. Very cool. You know there's talk about hybrid planes and electric planes and, uh, and all this kind of stuff. So considering that a tiny little <laughs> lithium battery can run this engine for, um, you know, almost three hours, you get a couple of these in there, maybe a little bit bigger ones, they still don't weigh anything. Um, you could have 10 hours worth of electricity to run the airplane. So why even use an alternator?